today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is a series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go hunting through the packs looking for creatures of the same tribe. So let's introduce today's patron. It is Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron and your Commander, a very interesting one indeed. Let's take a squiz here. We have Gehiji Honored One, Legendary Creature Beast. It's a mythic 4-4 for 5. Whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents or a Planeswalker or opponent controls, that creature gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. You can stir the gentlest spirit to wild ferocity. Alright. So that's some fun flavour on that one. So we will be looking for beasts today. So I've tried to pick the packs here that will get us the best chance of beasts. So let's bookend things here with Ikoria, which pretty much has the king of the beasts here on the packet. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So we'll be looking for all that stuff along with beasts. We have Gust of Wind, Prickly Marmoset, look into his eyes, what do you see? Leave a note in the comments, Helica Glider, Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs, Dead Weight, Anticipate, Cloud Piercer, and no dinosaurs do not count, I guess it's a different kind of creature, Volpakeet Showcase, so we've got a Foxbird, Mosscoat Goriak, here we go, Creature Beast 2 4 for 3 with Vigilance. Pop that over there, and another one, Titanoth Rex, Creature Dinosaur Beast 11 11 for 9, holy cow. Trample Cycling 1 and a green, so when you cycle it, put a Trample Counter on target creature control. I believe this was the uh, huge one, or one of the huge ones I was trying to bring out in the Tybalt's Trickery deck. If you miss that deck tech, oh, Chuck a link in the corner. I think I had the uh, Godzilla version though. Reptilian Reflection. Boon of the Wish Giver. And a Mythic. Yes! Fiend Artisan. Fantastic. Creature Nightmare. 1-1 one, one for 2. Fiend Artisan gets plus 1 plus 1 for each creature card in your graveyard. And for X. And either a black or green tap. Sack another creature. Search your library for a creature card with Command Mana Cost X or less, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Oh, and we also get a foil version. Nice. Halfway to your playset. A swamp and human soldier. Okay, so that was a nice pack indeed. On to Core 2021. Let's see if we can pull some beasts out of here. Oh, here's a, a beastly fellow, Garrick Unleashed Emblem. We'll throw that in as well. Tranquil Cove, and the rare is Peer into the Abyss. I like the fractal nature of this artwork here. Sorcery for seven. Target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in the library and loses half their life. Round up each time. All right, some milling goodness there. Griffin Airy for the Uncommons. Leafkin Avenger. Volcanic Geyser. Life Goes On for the Commons. Gale Swooper. Sky Scanner. Goblin Arsonist. Yes. Rousing Reed. Radiant Phantom. Liliana's Steward. Colossal Dreadmore. More dinosaurs there. Tome Anima. And Defiant Strike. Okay, so we struck out on that one. Alright, Theros Beyond Death. Don't let us down. You know what would be fun out of this one? One of the Titans, right? Okay, fingers crossed we have Riptide Turtle, Stampede Rider, Nyxborn Corsa, Scholar Grove Dancer, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Satyr's Cunning, Hero of the Pride, Chain to Memory, for Rika's Libation, Hyrax Tower Scout, Reverend Hoplite for the Uncommons, Renata Called to the Hunt, Dream Shaper Shaman, and rare is Aishiox Erasure, Enchantment 4 with Flash, 
So when it enters the battlefield exiled target spell, your opponents can't cast spells with this same name as the exiled card. And when it leaves the battlefield, return the exiled card to its owner's hand. And a very nice island. Let's throw that in as well. And a human soldier. Okay, so we're halfway through. Got a small handful of beasts there. Let's see how we can do with Zendikar rising and its weird uh, disintegrating packs. Okay, so we'll throw in the uh, art cards as well. Some merfolk dude there. What is it? It is Seagate Banneret. We get a forest. I'll chuck that in as well. Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Utility Knife. Adventure Awaits. Spare Supplies. Veteran Adventurer. Amara Mystic. No base yet. Salundi Vision. And on the other side, we've got the Salundi Isle. Zulaport Duelist. And the rare, here we go, Wayward Guide Beast. Creature Beast 2-2 for a single red, trample and haste. Whenever Wayward Guide Beast does combat damage to a player, return the land you control to its owner's hand. And I like this bit at the bottom. Goblin Cavalry Tactics consist of pointing a beast in a direction and hanging on for as long as possible. <laughs> We've got a uh, goblin in the background there chasing after his beast. It's gone astray and what? A Mythic Forsaken Monument. We are doing well on the Mythic front today. Legendary Artifact for five colorless creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent for colorless mana, add an additional colorless mana. Whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain two life. All right, good deal. A Foil Skyclave Geopede. And there's more to every story, okay. Throne of Eldrano, let's look for more beasts in here. There's one in particular I'm after. You can probably guess what that is. Okay, so a fairy token. I think these are over a buck. I'll chuck that in. A plains, and that is not what we were looking for. A mirror maid, enchantment for three. Merrileaf pixie for the uncommon giant opportunity. Mysterious Pathlighter, and the commons trapped in the tower, festive funeral, brimstone trebuchet, thrill of possibility, out muscle, witch's cottage, crystal slipper, mantle of tides, Ardenvale paladin, and blow your house down. Really? No beasts in there at all? Okay. One more pack to crack, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. Okay, so we should have more luck here with uh, Ikoria. So we've got the Thieving Otter Spell Eater Wolverine, which I would have thought would be a beast, but not quite. Survivor's Bond Essence Scatter, Greater Sandworm, Pacifism, Blister Spit Gremlin, Facet Reader, Night Squad Commando, Pouncing Shore Shark, here we go, Creature, Shark Beast 4 3 for 5, Mutate 3 in a blue, and Flash, whenever this creature mutates, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So, what do you think of the mutate mechanic? Have you used it extensively? I've seen it do some real nasty stuff in MTG Arena for sure. Jubilant Skybonder, Lore Dracus. Here we go, Creature Lizard Beast. It's a 2 3 for 3 with Mutate for 2 either blue or red or any combination thereof. Whenever this creature mutates, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so that's a nice showcase version. And Colossification, nice one. Enchantment Aura for 7 enchant creature. When Colossification enters battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. The Enchanted Creature gets plus 20, plus 20. So I think uh, this was the one I uh, paired it up with Fling. I was like flinging 40 damage around. It was crazy. I'll check a link in the corner there. You can check it out. That was a real fun deck tech. Foil, Footfall, Crater, and a Plains, and Human Soldier. Okay, so we did pretty well. So we got, what was that, two Mythics out of the uh, packs here, Forsaken Monument was the other one. Alright, and a nice bunch of beasts, including two Titanoth Rex. 
So scooping it up for Travis here. And stay tuned, the Patron Snap Pack live stream coming up this weekend. I cannot wait. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.